Hi everyone, this is Clever over at Clever Custom Performance and today we're gonna learn how to do it ourselves, do it yourself, LS3 wiring harness. It's the, uh, you know, the, the, the manual version of the 6.2 is the LS3 and also there's the L99 which came with an automatic 6L80 transmission and uh, let's get to it. We're going to start off with labeling all the connectors that we have and once we do all that we're going to go ahead and look at the lines and uh, just schematics over at lt1swap.com and other places in the internet and we're either we have two choices we can just snip them off right then and there or open it your entire wiring loom and uh, get rid of the whole cables in between in this case we're just gonna keep the uh, original the variable displacement displacing on demand solenoid so we're not removing anything big or anything from this harness we're just gonna get away with emissions your evap purge and your purge control solenoid now this is your e38 computer and most of the most of the work took place here in the black connector which comes apart pretty easy. You just pop this, this this cover off here on top. See I had sealed it up with some silicone because we got rid of all the wires that we didn't need. Got the bundle of wires down there. So in order for us to properly uh, remove these wires is you have to take this little cover off upwards then you have all these wires exposed now the orientation of these these pins that we get rid of they all go in a certain way and you can find this list over at the link I'm gonna post in the comment section or description rather so you just fold this little plastic tab and pull this this wire up out of there and then make sure you fill the cavity with some silicone or RTV that way you don't run into corrosion problems in the future so once we did all this Cover it back up. Now we're gonna be left right here with a bunch of things, you know. Um, your gas pedal. This gas pedal for the LS3 is uh, actually electric, so we're gonna have to rewire all these connections that go to the to the actual accelerator pedal. And I'm gonna do an update once I 
once I implement all these cables and terminate them onto the gas pedal. But tonight, we're going to be focusing on getting rid of this uh, main fuse connector and setting up a, um, a four fuse holder with a, with a relay for our fuel pump. Now we're gonna get our trusty uh, ohm meter here, right? We're gonna set it on continuity. I like double checking. I like double checking all these cables, but the schematics tell you, you know, which plugs are. Uh, which which number cavity you're dealing with and um, I'm gonna get right back right into it you know this big five six millimeter purple wire is your starter actuator cable so we're just gonna start with that I like to start with the easy stuff because the easy stuff has to be done too and uh, we're going to label it, label it all, it doesn't matter how clear it is, going to label it starter, starter solenoid, you know. Followed by some grounds. You get a couple grounds here. Actually, just one. Mostly for your starter control. Now, for this ground, I like to double check that it is a ground. Ground. used to go for your starter control solenoid but we're going to be using it for the OBD2 port Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this situated and then I'm gonna upload an actual picture for you guys to check out. Thanks a lot for watching. Click, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. This is my trusty dog, Xena Dog. Say hi, Xena Dog. Oh, yeah.